Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about something found in Lightroom Classic that I think is very useful, but in my opinion, is underutilized. I'm talking about Smart Collections. Now, a Smart Collection is similar to a regular collection in that both of them contain photos that are found in different folders of your Lightroom library. Where a smart collection differs from a regular collection is that with a regular collection, to get those photos into it, you have to manually put them there. With a smart collection, those photos will automatically go into that collection. Let me demonstrate how to do it. I'm in just a random folder in my Lightroom library. It doesn't matter what folder you're in or anything like that. We're going to go down to collections. We're going to click this little plus sign, and I'm going to create a smart collection. I'm going to give it a name. This specific smart collection, I want, let's say, all of my five-star images to be in this collection. So I'm going to call this five star photos. I'm not going to put it in a collection set, but if I did, I would click there and just pick the collection set I want it to be in. I don't want it to be in one. I'm going to go here to the rules. Now we create rules. And if a photo meets those rules or satisfies those rules, it will be added to the collection. And you could create more than one rule. So you could use up here this match. Do you want to match any of the rules or all of the rules or none of the rules? In this case, I want it to match all of the rules. And I want the rating I mentioned. I want it to be exactly equal to five stars. I do have the option to have it not equal to five stars or greater than, well, in this case, five stars, nothing's greater. But it, let's say it was three stars. It would be greater than three stars. So any four and five star images would go in there or less than or whatever. So you have these Boolean um, objects here we could choose from. I want it to be exactly five stars. Just like that. We're going to click create. And you'll notice that I currently now have a smart collection with 478 images in it. And all of them are five star images. Now I want to point out that I happen to be in this folder uh, from Hamburg Beach, October 13, 2020, and it only has 73 images in it. So it doesn't look at just the folder you happen to be in. It looks at your entire Lightroom catalog and looks for any images that meet those rules or satisfy those rules. And any of those images that satisfy the rules you designated will be added to the collection. Also, the collection is always active. Uh, for example, let me go to this folder, Woodlawn Beach, and let me just click on this image. Let's say I just give this a five-star rating right now. Now, right now, my smart collection of five-star photos has 478 images in it. Let me just hit five to give this a five-star rating, and now you can see 479. Let me go to this one and give this a five-star rating. Hit five, and you'll see 480. So this is always active and always looking at the images in your Lightroom catalog and any image that meets those rules will be added to the Smart Collection. Not only that, when you're importing images, if you happen to have a collection active, that um, Im image you're importing satisfies a rule for that collection, it will get added during import. So they're always looking for images to be added to them, I guess. Uh, for lack of a better way to put it or a clumsy way to put it. Let's create another one a little bit more complex. So let's go up here and create another smart collection. I'm just going to call this my smart collection for lack of a better title. All right. Now I want it to meet, meet all of the rules I'm going to create. All right. So the first rule I want to is I want um, the label color to be red. All right, so we'll just click that. And now I want to add another one. So we're going to click plus. And I want, for this one, you can see all the different things you could choose from. You could even, you know, go down here and uh, any searchable text. So anything in the metadata that is searchable. Um, develop presets that you might have, you know, if it's a cropped image, you could add it to this. Uh, other metadata, you could search anything with a specific title. And camera info, specific camera a specific camera serial number, a specific lens, stuff like that. So on import, if you shot with a specific camera, it would automatically get added to this smart collection. Uh, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for rating, and I want the rating to be greater than or equal to 3. So 
If it's three, four, or five with a red label, it's going to get added to this collection. Click Create. And you can see that I have now a collection of six images. This is pretty simple, right? Uh, so pretty cool. Um, so again, it's something you could experiment with. Um, you know, a lot of times when I get a new camera, I'll create a collection so that all the images I take with that specific camera get put in the collection, just so I could keep them in one spot and kind of look at them and see how the camera's working out. Or maybe I get a new lens and I'll create a smart collection so all the images I take with that specific lens go in that smart collection. You can see I don't keep them for long. I delete them after a while because I don't need to keep them forever. But something you could do, uh, maybe you have a project, a specific project, and you're giving images that are in that project a keyword, let's say project. Well, you could create a smart collection, then any images that you happen to add the keyword project to will automatically go in that smart collection so you know where they are and they're easy to find because you might have them in different uh, folders, a little more dispersed, hard to locate. The smart collection could help you out. So that's it for this video. I hope you start using smart collections and they help you with your Lightroom catalog. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.